Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, this episode of Pokemon Nuzlocke. Unfortunately, all my recording software decided to do a complete derp for this play session. So I recorded about 40 minutes of gameplay, which ideally probably would have panned out for about maybe two and a half, possibly three episodes. But uh, good news for everyone, you're going to get this all in one because I'm just going to have to speed all this up and, you know, because I can't lose this progress and redo it, but case sera sera, that's the things that happen. Um, so I'm just gonna have to do some weird kind of pseudo commentary on this, hopefully with some quirks and some other things. Basically a lot of this part is just me complaining about bird trainers all the time and hoping things don't crit me. Uh, in that top area I was intending to catch, uh, what was I intending to catch? Uh, it was, uh, I can't remember. I think it was an oddish. I think I was trying to catch an oddish, but it wasn't happening. Uh, so I just gave up. So there is still potentially a Pokemon I can catch on that route, which I believe is Route uh, 13. No, 12. Route 12. And then I moved straight on into Route 13. But it's it's just a thing that happens, and it's so bloody. Like, I think I, it's one of those things. I don't know how this program does it, because it's never done it before, and now it's starting to do it all the time. And I, you can't tell because it, it registers that you're, that you're recording sound. There's a Pavenda. I'm doing lots of switch out experience in this park because I want Pavenda to get some levels. And obviously there she just learns sing. And I made a lovely quip that Pavenda's a beautiful Pokemon. She's, she's probably got like a terrible singing voice. She's like, Lapras, Lapras. Ah. Just something terrible like that. You know, laughing at my own jokes, thinking that I'm funny. But yeah, and then... Yeah, we go keep going to Trolley Sam, and uh, she eats all the Pokemon forever, as we know. I was like, Trolley, don't eat it! Eats the Pokemon anyway, and here's me, you know, remembering that there are there's hidden items hidden around there. My uh, twenty year old Pokemon brain remembering things that have been hidden, and lo and behold, here I am again fighting more birds, which is ever fun trying to get all the experience through. I think I'm going to make a trip up north and we're going to be actually catching a new Pokemon in this part. So that's fun for everybody. Uh, then I work, yeah, work my way all the way up there into this patch of grass. And the only Pokemon I believe I can catch in this area is Venonat. And I came across it first off. And there was me trying to think if I caught Venonat before or not. But I don't think that I have. And I still don't think that I have. I confused it just to, you know, get a little more damage through it. And got it. Perfect. No problem. I decided to go with uh, No Pinky from the uh, the RP group that I'm in, and uh, that, that's all this is. So sorry, there's a bit less pomp and circumstance this time. No Pinky uh, would have made a bit more of a celebration, but uh, there is nothing that I can do about it because I had absolutely no sound. But I didn't want to deny everybody the uh, beautiful pleasures of hearing my voice. Plus, you know, I I just wonder whether like all Nuzlocke should be like this. Just speed it all up and just do loads of quick commentary and just say this one did here, this one did here, that's what I did there. He just runs through it. Does it make sense because like sometimes I'm... Oh yeah, there's a uh, PP up. I decided I didn't want to use it right now because I didn't know what I could possibly use it on. This is weird now. I think I probably made this a little bit too quick. <laughs> I'm trying to comment out on myself. It's just going woof, flying by and trying to remember all the stuff that I've said before in the previous... While I was recording for 40 minutes. Uh... You know, more bird trainers. It's just uh, cycling around. Looks like my slow animation. Yeah, that guy reset himself so I couldn't walk back, so I had to go all the way around again. Uh, the birds the birds got me down because I like I was seriously running out of PP for Marmite. I was running out of Thunderbolts and I was running out of Thundershocks. So at the end of this part, I am going to, between parts, I'm going to travel all the way up north. I'm going to get all my Pokemon healed, get all my PPs up, and <laughs> come back again. And I'm probably actually going to pick up the bicycle in between parts as well. You don't need to see me getting that, but I'm going to get that in between parts as well. Because I've got the bike voucher, I'm pretty sure. I got that so long ago, and I've not redeemed it yet. I think it's in Celadon City, I can't quite remember. And um, this is me going for Mero, because I was terrified that these coughings knew self-destructor explosion or something. So I was like, dig, dig, dig. You can explode while I'm underground, it's perfectly fine. Oh yeah, do you want to learn Swift? Uh, I would learn Swift if I hadn't learned Cut. You can't unlearn, cut, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. This episode's winding down now. And I will see you for the next thrilling episode where hopefully there will be sound and hopefully it will all be in real time. So, until next time, guys, I will see you then.